Hi everyone, this is Fagun Shah from Integration Lab. Today we are going to see a very interesting use case where we are going to update the values of advanced custom fields inside WordPress. Okay, so I have already gone ahead and uh, created some custom fields. Okay, here you can see that I have created this many custom fields under the group called uh, Office Details, right? And I have also turned on the setting Show in REST API under this Group Setting tab okay and i have already saved all these things and here you can see that i have already tested it one time now as a trigger we are going to use public connect form not public connect form public forms as a trigger right and then we are going to capture that response with simple response turned off in the public connect web hook right why because we want to pass multiple skills in an array format that's why we are capturing the simple response turned off okay then we are using one custom app created by me which is api ninja which is a totally free app which let you uh, make 50000 50k calls per month for free and it has multiple features i think so nine or ten actions i have already added right so it helps you to generate a password okay this kind of password and uh, which you can use to create a wordpress user right now let's come to the main core part of the workflow right so the core part is that we are creating a user first using publish inbuilt action okay everything is good but the issue is the advanced custom fields are not loaded in here right so when you click on save and send test request you will uh, notice that that there are no values for ACF assign. Okay. Yeah, obviously it will assign the default values, but not the values which we want to assign, right? So in order to do that, we need to use uh, API step, okay, to actually update the user. So for that, you need to select the custom request post uh, this particular end type uh, endpoint URL. You need to make sure you change your uh, website URL in here, right? You map this ID from the third step, then select basic auth, enter your username and password of your WordPress. Make sure you have already followed these instructions, you know, and install public connect re recommended uh, a plugin as well then only this authorization process will work here right i have already blurred those out because i don't want to show you my id and password right that's why okay the next step is you need to pass a json something like this okay so basically we are passing designation uh, years of experience then gender then skill in an array format you can see it here right then type of job remote now here comes the married so for married if you go here you can see it is a true or false kind of field right so the value which we are getting is yes or no kind of value that's why i have added a lookup table in here right so lookup table basically it will check that if it is a uh, if it is a yes selected then make sure convert it to true and if it is a no selected then convert it to false okay and then we will map this result basically the false result in here right so it will work properly and now if you go here and check the value you can see that acf values are assigned as well right so yeah this is basically the logic you need to make an, an api call with this particular kind of structure okay uh, let me show you this structure actually properly uh, if possible so let's do a json lint right let me validate okay yeah so that is fine i can just remove this and okay yeah so this is fine as well and something this kind of uh, json you need to make right this is like a beautified version of what we are doing right and you can see how the values are actually mapped you know so it is a very basic api call you just need to i will share this workflow in the description but i will make sure that i remove my id and password okay and yeah then you can try it on your own website as well it is super helpful in case you are a big fan of acf because many people wanted to do this many users have already asked that in the past in the public and facebook group as well right so i hope this video helps you all 
okay guys so let's get uh, this form tested here right so let's do test 5 test 55 test 55 5 gmail.com uh, market year okay experience will be let's say seven years let's uh, select female php java and css let's select in office and married to yes right and let's submit it let's go back to wordpress let's go to users okay so we have test 555 at gmail.com in here and if we go to custom fields you can see it it is a market year seven years of experience female the skills are selected in office is selected and married is selected as well right so yeah this works completely fine okay there can be like endless possibility i am not 100 percent sure i am not a wordpress expert right but yeah uh, daniel from the public connect group who does the uh, wordpress development he helped me to like verify all these things and he checked my process as well so i can you know make a video and show it to you guys right so big shout out to daniel as well thank you for helping me and the community right so yeah that's it for the today's video uh sorry for this error page let me go back here and yeah this is the basically the workflow uh, here and i will share this workflow with you in the description i will also share the custom app as well so yeah everything is included okay uh yeah make sure you share your use cases in the comment and let me know if you have any questions in case you want to hire me feel free to message me on facebook the link will be in the description as well so until next video make sure you subscribe to my channel and yeah bye bye for now thank you see you in the next video